Sneeko, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Get your act together. All right, guys, welcome back to the Sean Jones YouTube channel where we cover boxing, MMA, fighting in general, and stuff like this where you see influencers get smacked in the face on live stream. A healthy dose of karma, if you like. We base the Sean Jones Fighting YouTube channel off fun and entertainment. It's a fun channel. So I suggest you check out some of my content, not just content like this that we're doing today, but also some of me boxing and MMA content because we like to do some serious stuff as well. And if you like the look of it, then drop me a subscribe. So we've covered a lot of Sneeko content on this channel. And if you're unfamiliar with who Sneeko is, he's a former YouTuber turned rumbler, if you like, rumble content creator, because he was banned from YouTube from saying some controversial things. And then he started doing live streams with different content creators, influencers, and even professional fighters such as Jake Shields, Nate Diaz, and Sean Strickland. And if you're unfamiliar with what happens between Sneeko and Sean Strickland, I won't insert too much of the footage right here because this video will get demonetized, but I'll put that video up here if you want to go and watch it. It's absolutely hilarious. Sean Strickland tries to kill Sneeko. Or in fact, I'll put a full Sneeko playlist in the description with the full Sneeko timeline. A little bit easier to go and watch that then. Now, Sneeko catches a lot of hate for the stuff that he's said in the past, but I think he likes to see himself as a somewhat reformed character now because he's involved in less conscious controversies he's converted to islam and he's quite religious and he's also been doing quite a lot of boxing and mma training so you could say he's more disciplined and in control of himself and anytime someone steps in the ring or is trying to learn a martial art from the ground up and especially super super especially when you're documenting it online for everyone to critique you and hate on you I actually tip my hat to them because it takes balls to do that so in my last few sneako videos i've given a little bit more respect but just because you're doing boxing doesn't mean that that's changed who you are as a person that won't change your deep internal character so this video has just surfaced Sneeko was punched in the face for removing a man's hat it seemed like the punch broke some of his teeth hmm getting punched in the face for removing a man's hat that just that's giving me deja vu <laughs> So here is the context to this situation. Sneeko and his friends are the ones recording. They're in some sort of bar or nightclub. I don't exactly know where they are. And this security guard is telling everyone to get out. And no one is listening to him. People start putting the middle finger up to him. He does it back. And then something happens and it escalates from there. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Look at that for a freeze frame. Sneeko just got Superman punched. Where to start with this clip? Let's watch it one more time. What are you? What are you? Let's be fair, start from the ground up. This security guard did seem a little bit like a knob himself. He was amping up the crowd himself, but we don't know what happened before this. As far as we're aware, he was trying to get everyone out. People were refusing to move. They were just standing there. Then everyone started filming them. The crowd started chanting, F you, F you, F you. So he gave the crowd the middle finger. The crowd did it back. And so far, no harm, no foul. But this is a classic lesson in escalation. Any further than that. But what happened? Someone flicked the security guard's hat off his head who is that someone it was Sneeko going through it frame by frame Sneeko is on this side so the left side of the screen Sneeko has got a black hoodie on watch his arm come up you can just see it come through right now underneath that phone you can see it come up come up there's Sneeko's hand right there you can even see he's got some sort of design on the sleeve and boom he knocks the hat off the security guard. Now, I believe if you do that, especially to people who you really don't know, it's pretty much assault. I think it is actually classed as assault, isn't it? I'm not too sure, but I've seen someone say that, and if it's on the internet, it must be true. But the thing is, the situation with that Bradley Martin and stable Ronaldo the other day, when the lad took Bradley Martin's hat and Bradley slapped the lad, they somewhat knew each other. They were meeting up for a collaboration. Okay, they'd only really met 10 minutes prior to that. So I can kind of see stable Ronaldo's point about the fact that, oh, I thought we were just bantering. I didn't realise that was going to be such a big thing. 
thing taking Bradley Martin's hat off him. I can see the arguments for that. But this, you have got no arguments, Nico. You've got no reason to do this to the guy's hat. So then the guy, as you can clearly see him looking off to the left of our screen... So he acknowledges Sneeko, and then he jumps through the air, does a crazy Superman punch. Whose arm is that? That's Sneeko's arm with the designs on the sleeve right there. You can just about make them out. And the bouncer delivers an absolute haymaker of a punch to Sneeko's face. And as we can see, this is Sneeko right here. Same design on his hoodie, so we know 100% for certain that it was Sneeko who knocked off the security guard's hat. And then as Sneeko turns around, you can see his teeth are all messed up. He looks like Harry from Dumber and Dumber, is it? No, sorry, Lloyd, isn't it? Jim Carrey. As you can see, he's pretty much out of it. He's all dazed. And then we pan right, and we see this is Jake Shields right here, former UFC fighter. He's also a part of Nate Diaz's crew. So this guy has got into so many street fights when he's been with Nate Diaz. So we can't exactly say Jake Shields is the type who avoids trouble. He's the type of lad who will throw down if his friends get hit. But Jake Shields doesn't do anything. He walks over and is like, what happened there? Turns back to sneak and doesn't do anything, doesn't actually defend Sneeko whatsoever. Now, if you know that Jake Shields was rolling with Diaz and it was one of Diaz's crew who got into this altercation, they would be absolute murder and mayhem. But not Sneeko. Now, this is the aftermath. Pay close attention to what he says. He'll just never learn, will he? We got Sneeko here. He's got this busted up tooth. Smile for me, man. <laughs> this was the security guard at, F at this thing, at this event right up here. Right up here, we got yeah. this guy jumped off the stage. No one attacked this guy. Punched Nico in the face. Him. No one touched him. Yeah. He jumped off the stage, hit Nico in the There's face. I watched the whole thing happen. This was just right now. Just this now. Just fucking happened. The, the guy that uh, the he shut off the speech to go play his music, he just uh, just got rocked in the face. But I'm a non-violent person. You know, I care about America first. That's what it's all about. Yeah, man. We'll take it through the legal necessary ways we got to do because. What the hell are you on about, Sneeko? You said you're a non-violent person and no one touched the guy. You literally see your arm come straight into the middle of the frame and knock the guy's hat off, right? That's assault. That's pretty much putting your hands on someone. And as I say, it's not like the Bradley Martin stable Ronaldo situation where it was done in somewhat of a playful manner and it was misinterpreted by Bradley Martin. No, this was in a hostile environment where the security guards was clearly cheesed off. Everyone was doing the middle finger to him. Everyone was shouting at him. Question, Sneeko, what did you think was going to happen after you decided to flick his hat off? Think about that for a sec. I could never imagine making that decision to flick someone's hat off and not be ready for combat. If I'm going to flick someone's hat off who I don't know, especially a security guard, I'm going to be doing that as an act of violence. I am declaring war on that security guard. So this is a clear indication right here that Sneeko has never had any sort of real-world experience when it comes to serious confrontation. You don't do that to people and not expect something back. And that actually brings me to the point of, I think this was a classic case of the Jack Doherty effect. Now, if you don't know the Jack Doherty effect, I'm not going to give you an entire backstory, but Jack Doherty is this little kid streamer. Well, I say kids, he's like 22, 23 years old, but he's incredibly annoying and he walks around America pretty much with a security guard and he starts trouble and beef with people and then a security guard steps in to help him. Sneeko had that Jack Doherty effect because he had Jake Shields on his right. He thought that Jake Shields was going to throw down and that he was protected because, listen, I'm with Jake Shields. Do you know who I am? I'm Sneeko. I'm with Jake. Do you know who Jake's with? He rolls with Nate Diaz. Have you not seen me spar with Sean Strickland? Do you understand the contacts I have in my phone? It's that subconscious energy that would lead to someone like Sneeko doing this. Also, for anyone who thinks that it wasn't Sneeko who knocked the hat off the security guard because Sneeko is wearing a different hoodie in the this clip because it's got no designs on well you can easily just go to the website of this designer brand that he's got on Fouchard and here is Sneeko right here wearing that exact hoodie from the video logo on the front and then the beards on the back and the sleeves proof you guys know for the last couple of years I've been out of shape I haven't been able to fight properly in and out of hospital so on and so forth so because I know my ability within myself and my own physicality is even more restricted than what it used to be I'm even more polite when I walk around the streets now I'm not looking for any beef whatsoever I've also got so much to lose any smart man who has a life worth living and who has more than two brain cells in his head doesn't go around looking for trouble low IQ individuals do that who've got no purpose in life and who have childhood trauma they're the people who go around looking for fights Sneeko sort it out mate you're not going to press any charges that security guard I'm guessing here but I think he would most likely win any sort of legal case 
because it was an act of self-defense. But there you go. Sneeko got Superman punched. He's going to have to get a whole new set of veneers now. And at least you'll look like a lot of us Scousers with turkey teeth. Don't just arrive here in Istanbul, have I? Staying in the open and that. It's going to go in my room and check out. We drive on the street, Come to collect me, lads, yeah? Nah, it's like, lads, we'll be down in a minute, lads. So what do you guys think of this? Do you think the security guards was justified in throwing a full atomic bomb Superman punch at Sneeko? Or do you think Sneeko was justified in knocking the guy's hat off because the guy was being rude back to them? Let me know your thoughts down below. Like this video. Appreciate it all. Check out the rest of my content. Here are some videos for you. Check out that one, this one, or that one, or this one. There's a bunch there for you to look at. Nice one, lads and ladies. See you tomorrow.